There are two main ways we can figure out which element is represented by this electron configuration here that ends in 3D1, 4S2. The first and probably easiest way is just to count up the number of electrons for this electron configuration. So we count all of these up and we get a total of 21 electrons. When we look at the periodic table, the number above the elements, these numbers right here, these are the atomic numbers. And since all of the elements on the periodic table are neutral, they don't have a plus or a minus after them, the number of protons, the atomic number, that'll equal the number of electrons. So we just find 21, atomic number 21 on the periodic table, which is scandium right here. And this is the electron configuration for scandium. It has 21 electrons, atomic numbers 21, and the protons, the electrons there equal, since these are all neutral. We could also write this configuration in what's called the short form or the condensed notation. Right now it's in the long form or full electron configuration. So to do that, we just find the noble gas before scandium. So here's 21, we go back 18 argon right here. So instead of having all of this, this is 18 electrons, we just write AR. That'll look like this. So this is the condensed form. Do note in both of these, the 4s2, often it's written before the 3d1, just something to be aware of. So we know because we have these 21 electrons, we have scandium. So the other way to do this is we could look at the periodic table broken up into element blocks. So if we look at our configuration here, these are the valence electrons. We want to find what element here ends with this configuration. So we have 1s1, 1s2, s is full, 2s2, 2p1 through 6. So P is full with 6, 3s2, 3p6. Here's 4s2 and 3d1. That's right here. So this 3d1, this will be the element that we're interested in. And that's going to look like this, scandium, just like we found before. So that's how you find which element is represented by 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d1, 4s2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.